Hello, my name is Cheryl Lovejoy, and I'm the North America Regional Leader for Tirza International. Tirza was an Israelite woman from the Bible, and the word Tirza means she is my delight, and we believe that God delights in each one of his daughters around the world, that he created them in his image, and that he has high purposes for each one of them. Tirza International is a network of national movements encompassing over 150,000 women in over 100 nations around the world. Together, we connect and educate women to impact their world with God's love as we address issues of injustice affecting women and girls. And we do this through socioeconomic partnerships, through training, and through advocacy. We focus on poverty, education, AIDS, modern day slavery, and violence against women and girls. We believe that problems are best solved through local leadership and local solutions. So in every nation where we work around the world, leadership is held by national women leaders, such as Peace Nihor Mbere and her wonderful team from the nation of Burundi. In every nation where we work, those who volunteer their time, their skills, those who give, those who pray, those who share with their friends make up a key part of our network. So we hope that as you watch this film, you'll consider where you fit into our story. I think I was created to do this. Amen. This is my call. This is my passion. It's very hard for me to see um, young girls like them and moms who are hopeless while we can do something. It's a joy to serve the Lord. It takes all my time, but I don't see the time going by. Because I love them. I was wondering, before I came to this center, where will I find peace? Now I find it here, this place. Before I became a Christian, I was uh, somebody full with pain. Since I'm in this place, I have hope for the future. When I am at this center, I really have joy, which is overwhelming. Every person has her special day for rejoicing.
I, I felt like we weren't just saying to the girls in the program, we're here for you. You don't have just a family here in Burundi. You actually have a family in America who loves you too. Because of God's love, we're able to do this. When the ladies in the program break out in song, I mean, it's biblical. It's biblical. There is rejoicing like angels amongst every single lady in that program. And I will never be able to describe unless I open a Bible, what it was like to hear them sing and dance for nothing but just joyfulness, not just at our arrival, but that, you know, they, they literally were grateful that we had left our families to come spend time with them. Since I've been back, I honestly cannot do anything without remembering their music, and it just immediately puts me back there, and I will never be able to get away from it. When Aline came here, she was really uh, someone who is uh, close. She would not open herself. She told me her problems, and they say, it's okay, we need to help people like you. She was very weak, she could not feed her, even a, her child. And as soon as we gave her food, she was able to breastfeed her child. And she went in class, she learned, and uh, she improved every day. Before lunch time, we, we pray. Mary is helping them with scriptures. And she said, Mama Visa, I want to receive Jesus. She became a believer. And since then, she was very happy, happier every day. She can't believe she will have a certificate that she's going to graduate this week and that she will have a sewing machine. This is um, a blessing for her. She has already found a place to go and where she will work with her friends. She sees the future as uh, bright. Micheline, when I saw her, my heart broke because she was in such sorrow. She said, I have children, but I don't have a home to stay. If it will take my children to stay in the street, I will still come to learn. She had to go through therapy with Mandy because uh, she has been through so much troubles. Every day I saw in her changing. Today she's doing very well. When she will have a sewing machine, she's going to do good business. We will make sure that she will have some uh, money for her house for some months until she gets some income. When I see these girls coming and changing and they say they are very happy, I'm happy too. God bless you. So I'm very happy to feed my children. That will be the work I will do with this machine. And I'm happy to, to see them uh, 
becoming a new person. When I first saw Yvette working at this center, she was a girl who was really afraid. She was all the time uh, looking on uh, the ground. She was raised in a family where people were jealous and they would come to kill them anytime. When you ask a question, you could not hear what she said because she was afraid. She looks like someone who have never been loved, have never got any uh, affection. Slowly, slowly, she gained confidence, especially during our prayer time, where other people, our other girls, would give testimonies. She was like, I'm the only one who don't say nothing. Suddenly, uh, one day, we heard her voice. You know, in a life, you can be uh, in trouble but you still have something to thank for God. Yeah. Then peace gave me this scripture. Uh, Isaiah 41. From verse 10. And she read this scripture to me. And when every time I have, I am troubled, I remember that God said in that scripture, don't be afraid, I'm your God, I care. And I will rescue you. And I will heal you. This is my, the, the scripture I, she, she gave me, and every time I remember that one, and I read it from the Bible. I will never forget that scripture she gave to me. And every time I read it, I remember of Mama Peace. You know, God can take you from the trash can. Today she's going to graduate.